thought I thought that was a um, projection pool, but I guess not. Yeah, so we have some cyclones here. I'm not sure. Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on giant steep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from ski sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happens. An update. It's now clear there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones on giant deep rotate clockwise. There are cyclones Cassava typically uses to send components into orbit. There are also a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes down, uh, pushes objects beneath the waters and below the currents. My gratitude Spire, Kone is showing me your handiwork and I'm intrigued by this secondary type of cyclone, but was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. Okay, so which one pushes us down? Uh, Okay, so anti-clockwise would be, uh, which one? This guy? Yeah, and he pushes things down. See, we can't even jump. But now this one. Yep. Okay, very nice. So we just have to learn that. Wait, what's this here? Oh, projection pull? Didn't even see that. So that's very useful information. So we can return to Giant Steep and go underwater. Konoi, Daz, and I were lifting orbital pro components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the currents. Konoi, I should you should have should have seen it. Uh, we thought it was impossible for any cannon parts to seek even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Cassava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using another other cannon parts, but we're very curious to what happens. How could something pass through the currents? My gratitude for your interesting question, this is exciting. Aspire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at the Brittle Hollow Southern Observatory, and, it's relev and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Uh, I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? Uh, if you don't mind to track the track beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'll be delighted to see you. The trailhead starts at Brittle Hollow's equator. Yep. I think we've seen this before as well. No new information there. And this is the projection pool. Okay. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay, cool. So... Let me see what. There's anything else up here? Or is it just part of the observatory simply? Ugh. Okay, no, there's a bunch of. Okay. I wonder what this is all about. Oh, is this to observe the various planets? So the. The twins? Oh, they're like models. Oh, okay. What have we learned thus far in our research for the eye of the universe? Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Cassava, how can you su suggest that the eye's signal called out to summon us from to this star system? I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye's so story. Yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around this star system's sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Uh, those of us of the, on the vessel originally followed the eye's signal to this star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built at the on the Atoll Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here, here 
were both unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. Hypoth hypothesis. The eye has stopped emitting its signal. Oh, that's, that's weird. So, that's a model of the sun and the twins orbiting around it. And this would be Timber Earth. Yeah. And this would be Brittle Hollows. Uh, Giants Deep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, actually, this. Oh no, this would be the Dark Rumble. And then the Eye. Jesus Christ. It's everywhere, you can't locate it. That's really interesting. Okay. I'm just gonna leave this as it is. How should our methods change as we continue our research for the eye of the universe? We know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. Maula's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Remy and Pai about the technology they're developing? As we couldn't find the eye's signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue this search method. Uh, we'll, we'd need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant's Deep would be a good choice. It's farthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch, and it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Yes, let's build a cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. Okay. I think this would be it for the uh, observatory. So let me get out of here. And let's go into the ship. Also, I still need to figure out how to get... Oh my god. Brittle Hollow is completely uh, desolated now. Hopefully I can still reach it. Oh shit, I fucked that one up. Wait, maybe not. Also, let me check if is the tower of quantum knowledge has it gone through the I think it has. Maybe this is the This is a time we should explore that uh, tower as well. But I only have 50% fuel. My ship is all the way over there. Uh shit. Also, I can't go anywhere else, anywhere else though. I'm like stuck here. Oh okay, yeah, let's go. Let's try and find... Uh, the tower. Is that it? Oh, I think it is, yeah. Hold up, what's this? Uh, velocity. Plume, Felix and I have determined this uh, thick shard of rock is the reason objects in this groove are behaving in a quantum manner. 
The only other object observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. Imagine the moon's behavior and this growth are related. Okay, I think I've read this before. Okay, yeah. Read this before. I think this is the tower, though. Is it not? Kind of looks like it is. Yeah, the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Okay, we've read through that already. Let me just go down here. If I can... Maneuver my way into it. Your level critical, yeah, that's fine. And now we just go upwards. What do we have here? Can't locate any of them. Jesus Christ, I don't want to be upside down. Stop. Okay, let's go another floor up. Also, I'm running out of oxygen. Oh, there's a scroll there. Floor again. All right, let me just set this down. Jesus fucking Christ! Oh no, there's we can place it here. Okay. Oh, no, 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 shit, shit, shit. Okay. Uh, if you were here to make the first pilgrimage, blah, 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 blah. Let's just read all of this and record it in the ship's log. And you guys can pause it later and read it yourselves. But, uh, it's fucking... Oh, my God. Get that fucking thing out. Yep. Yeah. Record everything quickly. Okay, I think I've got everything. Okay, I think I read everything that was to read in there. Uh, I will... I, I actually haven't read it, but if it's recorded in the ship's log, then... Uh, uh, we'll have the new information added to it. But if not, when I stop recording the episodes, I'll make sure I go back and watch... What was the uh, recordings there. Okay, so, let's go back to the ship. Okay, cool. So, Southern Observatory. The new, more sensitive locator, the Nomai built in this observatory, was unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. Based on their knowledge of the quantum moon, the Nomai believed the eye was in a distant orbit around the sun. Uh, the Nomai decided to stop searching for the eye signal and instead look for it visually by sending out a deep space probe. There were concerns that the probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. 
and this is the um, rotate clockwise there are cyclones okay we have to find one anti-clockwise and let's check this out the nomai build a shrine on the quantum moon to aid a pilgrimage to the sixth location remember this final rule to explore the sixth location the shrine must be on the moon's north pole what uh To explore, to explore the sixth location. The pilgrimage to the quantum moon was a deeply significant journey for the Nomai. After the two groups of Nomai stranded on Number Twin and Brittle Hollow were reunited, it became their united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. Quantum Shrine. The Nomai built a shrine on the quantum moon to aid its pilgrimage to its sixth location. Many Nomai went on a pilgrimage during the quantum moon during which the quantum moon carried them to the sixth and most secret location. To explore the thith, uh, sixth location, the shrine on the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. Still no idea what that means. Remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Okay. Something about pilgrimage. Not sure still how I'm going to land on that quantum moon. But for now, we're going to go to Giant's Deep and uh, find us an anti-clockwise... Uh, where is Giant's Deep? Oh, there it is. Find us an anti clockwise uh, cyclone. Shit, I might have gone in too deep. It's alright though. At least this planet is made of water. Alright, anti clockwise cyclone. Oh, it's that one. Here we go. Why can't I go in? Electrical ship. <laughs> what? Can I not go in? Yeah, joking. Let's go again. Uh oh. Let's repair this. Uh... Uh... Jesus Christ, it fucking exploded on me. Are you serious? Shit. Also, what the hell are these? these bombs or maybe they're cannon parts or something okay right ship don't 
Oh my days, man. How am I gonna get past it now? Apparently the jellyfish are good insulators, but... Uh... Or oh, maybe I just went against one of them? That's why I got shocked, like twice. I'm not sure. Let me approach one and test out my uh, hypothesis. Hello, jellyfish. How are you? Oh, definitely, definitely hurts. Okay, here we go again. Alright, so remembering uh, what Feldspar said about the giants, a uh, jellyfish, uh, they're good insulators, right? So we just have to find. Where's Giant's Deep? Have I lost it again? No, here it is. Uh, I just have to find... Um, a jellyfish and uh, hopefully somehow insulate my ship from the electric uh, current. That's what I'm thinking. So let's try this again. Okay. Alright, so there's a jellyfish right there. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. Just gonna get right up to it. Swim through it? I don't know, dude. Seems risky. It looks like it's coming back down. Hey, I think I'm in. I passed it? Yeah, I'm in. Nice! Alright, so there's like a seed here or something? What the hell? Giant deep? Uh, nice, but uh, where do I... Oh, here we go. What is this? Can I go inside of it? Oh, maybe I have to leave my. Uh, I think I have to leave my ship. Right, velocity matched. Go and investigate. What's this? First. Fuck. Get up. Here we go. Oh, 
in the uh, world. And there's the... where's the statue? Oh, I, I figured that would be a statue. Oh, it's on the other side? Oh, there it is. Okay. Alright. Uh, let me see what's this. That's the uh, cannon. If this uh, says anything about it. Receiving data from probe 9371. Visualizing current trajectory of probe 9371. Okay, so that was the probe that was launched at the beginning of every time loop. Uh, hello? What the hell? Oh, is this the Eye of the Universe? Look at it. Um, retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Total number of probes launched, 9371. Deep Space Anomaly matching all known criteria for the Eye of the Universe found by probe 9354. So there was one of them that found the Eye. What does that mean? Retrieving storage coordinates from Ash Twain. Displaying coordinates for the Eye of the Universe. Nice. I mean, I can't read those, but uh, I guess we'll be able to at some point. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Go to the other side here and check what this is all about. Imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the Eye of the Universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friends. We only need to fire the probe once anyway, so who minds if it compromises the probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? I would mind, Mallow. I would mind because we won't be able to be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. It's all good, though. He didn't break anything. It's all good. Let me see what's this projection. Okay, so this is inside the uh, probe cannons. Yeah. Check checks out. Let me just get this one here. Let's see if there's anything new. I have exciting news, Privet. The Ash Twin project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the orbital probe cannon. Romy is adding some finishing touches here, but she'll be finished. She'll be finished soon. Are you and the orbital probe cannon well? We are. The probe tracking, tracking module is ready to record each launch's flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. On the other appendage, I am now worried about this cannon's structural integrity and its crew's moral integrity. Once the probe determines the location of the Eye of the Universe, I'll send an alert directly to you and Romy. Alright, cool. Hello, statue. You going to open in your eyes again? Yes, no need for that anymore. Jesus. H Christ, I just wanna get out of here. Alright, I think that's it. For the center of Giant's Deep, I can navigate my way out of here. Where's my... Oh uh, wait, where's my ship? <laughs> I think my ship is gone. Motherfucker, are you serious? Are you serial? Oh no, the ship is that way. Okay. There we go. Good ship.
Alright, let's see what the uh, ship log has recorded. The ocean is surprisingly calm. Yep, that's fine. I passed through the current the, the electric barrier and reached the coral forest at the planet's core. And we have the uh, pro tracking module automatically records each trajectory. I found no might coordinates marking the location of the eye of the universe. This is pretty big news. Now let's get out of here. Ouch. Okay, let's. Let's uh, use this uh, jellyfish to get out of here. I think we're through, but I'm really not sure. Yeah, seems like we are. Cool. So yeah, let's get back outside. Let's uh, use one of the cyclones here. Just propel us into space. Wonderful. <laughs> Very nice. Clean exit. Alright, so... We have a lots of new information. I'm guessing... I'm gonna go explore Ember's Twin. Because why not? And find out what's the... Uh, I mean, we kind of know what's the Ash Project Twin. It was just to find the coordinates to... to the eye of the universe, but uh, I still want to know more about this planet. Jesus! Alright, have we landed? Are we good? Are we solid? No, we are certainly not. Let me get out and repair this freaking ship. Okay, I think we're good now. Also, I think this might be one of the escape pods. Escape pod number two identified. Let's see what we can learn from this escape pod. We need status reports for all systems, but initially, initial things first. Uh, is everyone unarmed? Our escape pod's passengers are afraid, but physically well. Anona, everyone survived the crash. This is a relief, at least. You have my gratitude. But uh, were you able to find the other escape pod's distress signals? I can hear both signals somewhere in this star system, but I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same planet as us. Uh. Uh, begin flight log. Escape pod 2. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Escape pod 3, now launching escape pod 2. Collision imminent, prepare for impact. Scanning of external environments can complete. External temperature is prob prohibitively, prohibitively high. Verdict inhospitable. Do not seek shelter on planet surface. Okay, so I guess it's too close to the uh, sun, so it'll be too hot. The heat from the star system's sun is more bearable below the surface. When our escape pod punctured this planet's surface, it broke into what scans 
show is a cave system with much cooler air, I would recommend we seek a site down there to build a long-term shelter. Anona, but these passages are a maze. Even with this danger, they are still our best chance for survival. We'll form teams that descend into the caves to look for shelter, uh, shelter sites. We can mark our findings on the walls to avoid becoming irreversibly lost. Be curious. Uh, be curious. Be cautious, everyone. And be aware of the sand as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. Hmm. What sands? So I can't see anything. Oh my god, these caves. Emergency escape hatch. Okay. Keep moving. <coughs> Keep moving, friends. There is nothing interesting at the end of this passage but rocks. And while these rocks are interesting, they can wait until a less urgent time. Okay. Do not follow this tunnel to its end. Collius and I will examine the horror that lies at its terminus later, provided we live through this. Fair enough. Uh, we have found an enorm enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we could construct long-term shelter there. The cavern Melori found is a wise choice for shelter. Could one of you mark directions for the others to follow? This is the start of the path to the shelter site. I've left directions to guide you there. Of note, we must hurry, as the pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand and make sure no one is lost. Oh, so we gotta be careful, I guess. Let me just check... What's this side here? Of note, this passage leads to breathable air. Refill your supply tank there. We cannot tell how far or deep these tunnels may wind, but do not linger as the air is exposed to the heat of this alien sun. Okay, so the caverns are slowly filling with sands. Uh, let's make our way to the shelter and find... and see what we can find. Also, we don't have any air, air here, it's... Holy shit, look at this. Which way now? Oh my goodness. The other way? Oh, they're filling up quickly. Be cautious crossing the chasm ahead. The bridge Malora and I crafted will do its job, but it isn't strong. On the far side, look for the tunnel hidden behind the folding sand. Follow it and you'll reach the shelter sites. Okay. Uh, obviously, this path is okay. filled up with sands. Can't really go there. You're doing well. There's only a little further left to go now until you reach the shelter site. You can rest here. Hurry before the sun comes. Okay. We just have to get there. Fine. Here we go. I think we found it. Let me just check what's here. Uh, this is amazing. Look inside the cave. How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered other, others in these caves. I think this is a rare find. From what I can see, Collis and I believe this specimen must be very old indeed. Imagine what we might learn if we could examine it. We both agree it's un unlikely this dry planet is this horror's place of origin, especially considering what we observed during the vessel's evacuation. Clearly this hole is too small for it to have fit through. Hypothesis, there is another entrance to this cave. If there is, Collis and I will find it. We can leave valuable information undiscovered, or we can't. An update, we need to find a way inside quickly, Malorai, because when I returned here to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. What specimen? Oh! Okay. Fair enough. It's an anglerfish. How did he get here, though? Who knows? So this is the anglerfish we're going to research for... 
uh, information on how to avoid the anglerfish entirely so we can delve into the dark bramble once again so we can find the vessel. This is still filling with sand so I don't have much time here. Shit. Look at this. So we built a sand station to power the Ash Twin project. Are there any other ways of generating this level of power? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the sand station must be built if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. I almost can't comprehend this is being suggested seriously. The, purpo the purpose of the sand station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. Unsurprisingly, I idea, uh, idea, I disagree. We're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That, in my experience, is the deafening characteristic of our species. If we fail and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves and all life here, and the rest of this star system. I wish to protect this species. The potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build a sun station no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try. I believe if we're cautious the sun station will work. I believe in Pi. Uh, Poke, I'm deeply honored. Either, I, I comprehend your position. However, if we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we've built it, then I won't support the station's use. Uh, let me see... What else is here? God, these caves fill up quickly, huh? Just some uh, sleeping porters, I guess. Nothing really interesting here. Okay. Oh! Oh my god, scared the shit out of me there. Fucking giant hole. Where's this gravity cannon? I mean, another one of those? What the hell? Oh my god, can I? I don't want to go there. I'm going to go. Oh, I can't. Shit. Okay, we'll. Probably we'll have to come here on another uh, run. Oops. Uh, where's the? Uh... I think it's beyond space. Uh, yeah, we can go through here. It's just inside of that. Okay, it's all good. We can't. We couldn't even go there if we wanted to. It's blocked by rocks. Oh, and this is just a way out to the gravity cannons. Gotcha. But it's all filled with sand now, so there's no purpose there. Okay. Uh, let's just return to our ship. Oh, there's someone's ship here. Oh, we have to find that guy. Okay. I think my ship... What is this? 
Oh shit. Or maybe we just we'll just go to him. Okay, that's fine. Hello, fellow astronauts. Charts. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna take a quick break right here, and uh, we'll come back and talk to Charts and explore the rest of this uh, planet. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.